Hey guys, welcome to Nightmare Cosplays. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you um, how I made my how I made my Junko hammer. From down here, it looks really bad, but it's actually really cool. I'm gonna show you how I did it. What did I do? Or this is what this is what the hammer looks like, just like in a segment or in a video. It's really cool. And if you guys didn't know, yes, I'm getting a Junko cosplay for you guys. Uh, it's gonna be so fun, and there's gonna be a lot of content. So yeah, that's why I made the hammer. If you guys want a step by step tutorial by this, like I do it as I go along with you I will gladly make another one just comment down below if you really need it to like a step-by-step -step by this the things you will need are duct tape it can be black or any color you want um, duct tape a PVC pipe sturdy one though you'll need a large cardboard box as well not to mention paint and anything you want to decorate it. And that's really about it. Some people use hot glue guns, but I don't think hot glue worked for me. I did try, hot glue was not my thing. I used a lot of duct tape and duct tape really held it together, held it in place. It was very successful for me. What I did was I got the large box and this is your choice, but you can either choose to put, um, put the wooden rod and duct tape it down first before you paint, or you can paint the box before you put on the rod. I put on the rod first, and it still turned out great. That was the top of the hammer. Um, yeah. And then once you paint it, you're going to want to take all the sides and everything, and then you're going to take the PVC pipe to make it um, the color that you want. You can also decorate this as well. Just be creative. Come up with the design. And it's quite simple. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the clips of me making it. So let's go. It's all about painting, and then looks really crappy now, but we got all the sides painted, and that's what we were aiming for. Hey guys, so we're gonna do, um, all right. So we're working on the hammer right now and I have my Coke in this cup. And me and my friend, we finished doing the black a long time ago. And now I've been working on the, the other paint. I've been using this one, then obviously some black paint, and now I'm going to show you how it looks so far. So this part looks, oh shoot, I can barely see. This part looks very boring, and so does this part, but and there's this part, and it looks very good. And then that part also looks pretty freaking cool. Don't know what I'm gonna do about the duct tape, but we'll figure it out. So yeah, if I just do a little hammer spin, it's pretty cool. Anyway. All right, so wrapping it up, actually this champ, what, this hammer costs no money to make. I'm not used to it yet, but yeah. It was legitimately, it didn't cost me anything to make it. I mean, if you don't have some of the materials at home, of course it's gonna cost money, but uh, uh, I used all materials that we already had at home. So I definitely recommend getting this one. And yes, you can copy my idea so how i made it you can you can copy it but it's always fun to just get creative with it um so yeah don't forget to please subscribe we're so close to 70 subscribers guys and that's so crazy because 
my goal was to have 60 subscribers by the end of September and we're already so close to 70. I love you guys so much and please like the video and share it with your friends. It helps so much. Bye guys. Have fun making your own hammer if you want to.